Welcome back to United Tradesman Academy. Hey guys, look, got a beautiful morning here. It's about a little bit over 80 degrees right now. That panel right back over there is missing a main breaker. Maybe somebody stole the main breaker. Maybe somebody just took it out and never put it back in. But look, this building, they want to get the power on. But how you gonna get power on if you don't have a main breaker? So look, let me show you. All right, so you can see right up there in that space, there's no main uh, breaker in that space. So we'll take it off, take this cover off. No space. I'm sorry, no breaker in that space. You can see the line wires coming in. Now, if we go over here to this other panel right here, what do we have? We got a main breaker right there. All right guys, so that's what we got to do today. This breaker actually bolts in. So, see those three uh, bolts right there? Well, these, these nuts right here, you put the breaker in, you have to bolt it down. So guys, look, that's why it's good to have experience doing commercial, residential, and industrial because you never know what type of car you're gonna get. Majority of the time in residential, you don't have to deal with bolt-in breakers. Um, but in commercial, um, I would say a little bit larger buildings, majority of the breakers are bolt-in. So let's get started. All right, guys, so first things first, you see this bolt-in breaker we have right here? Well, one thing you gotta first notice is that how they have this configuration set up, it's set up for a bottom fed style breaker. Well, if you look up here at the panel, the feed is coming from the top. So I need to switch these lugs around so they'll be on the top. So when I, so when I do uh, insert the breaker in there, the wires have some place to go underneath. Because like I said right now, the lugs are coming in on the bottom. So we need to take these lugs off and put them on the top. All right guys, so first thing first, if you look on the back here, you see you got three bolts, one, two, three. Now, in order to access those bolts, you gotta take these lugs out. These Allen lugs. And then you can access that, the other Allen. those ones out now we could take them out all right that's one talk right now man all right so we got them all out from the bottom right here now we need to put them on the top right here so you got these two little you got one cut out right here one cut out right here they go in right on one little lip one on the other lip I'm going to sit in just like that. Now we'll go back with the process in reverse. See? It's on there now.
go nice and slow because you don't want to break it or you don't want to cross thread it. Let's see if there's a torque setting. Two fifty inch pounds. So it says right here, mounting torque mounting screw to one hundred fifty inch pounds. All right, guys. So my torque wrench, it shows it in foot pounds, not inch pounds. So basically, basically, I'm getting a, a conversion. 150 inch pounds equals 12.5 foot pounds so let's set the torque wrench to 12.5 inch pounds Twelve point five inch pounds. Don't take a lot on this. On these, you don't want to over tighten. Double checking. All right. Normally, I would use some uh, some real actual torque seal, but I can't find it right now. So I'm just going to use this to show that it's marked. So if anybody else come behind me and break this seal, then I don't know that somebody have been tampering with it. this cover off right now so I have more room to work with inside of here. I won't have to bend down and all that stuff. can actually stand up here and do this. You know what? This socket is too deep for me to try and get that all the way in there like that. So, 
by the time I get the the socket all the way in there the nut is gonna be all the way back here so I need to use a different um, I, need, I, need, I need to use a more shallow socket all right guys so I'll just use this just to get it started because like I said otherwise I would have been using this and the nut would have fallen all the way down in there but this is so shallow that the nut stays right on top So I'm gonna to torque this to 12 inch pounds also. Guys, we're gonna check this for power. No power. Now we need to get the lugs to put back in there. Got them in my pocket right here. Okay, so on the lugs, it says we're gonna torque them to 200 foot pounds and we have to convert that over to inch pounds i'm sorry it says 200 inch 200 yeah 200 inch pounds so i got to convert that from foot pounds to inch pounds just go ahead and put these in there for right So now we're ready to put the wires in there, tighten them up.
So I'm gonna start with the blue phase first. It's gonna be black, red, blue. You know what? Let me just get them in there first and I'll come back and torque them. like my socket my socket my wrench my ratchet just broke so black red so now let's do red black right there. All right, so let's set our torque wrench to 16 foot pounds, inch pounds, I'm sorry. 16 is right there. Seal marks on there, even though I should be using some torque seal, but I don't have any. 